Hi Dresser Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw the Catalyst skin from Fortnite. So let's get started. To draw this really cool skin from Fortnite, we're going to first start by drawing the eyes of this um, cat mask. So I'm going to come right here. I'm going to start right here and I'm going to draw a slant down. It's a little wave of a curve. And I'm going to come to the back side of it. Basically draw the same thing and connect it. So I have the eyes in. So then I'm going to come to the other side, just giving myself some room for the nose. So I'm just going to come across, see about right here. Give myself a point. And I'm going to basically do the same thing. I'm going to go up. And I'm just going to wave it out. It's always trickier and I'm going to drag a point across just so it makes it a little bit easier for you to figure out how high to go and go ahead and connect it. So now that we have that in, it's a little bit easier. We can go ahead and just follow and come back down. There. So we have the main part in, the eyes in. Now let's come to the center of this eye and we're going to draw a nose. So about right here. A little triangle. I'm just going to shade that in, make it a little bit easier, and then the mouth. So just from the center, just curve out, and then same thing over here. Okay, so we have that main part in, and then above the eye right here, I'm just going to draw a curve and thicken it up, and same thing over here. So curve and thicken it up. And then let's start to draw the side of the mask. So I'm going to come where I started with the eye, about right here, just come out a little bit, and I'm going to start to draw a curve that comes down. So same thing over here, where you started with the eye. And so the mouth is right here. I'm going to come about right here, not too far down in this area. I'm just going to draw a slight line so that I know where to end my mask. And now I can go ahead and connect it. So same thing over here. Just makes it a little bit easier to see. Okay, so then from there, let's start to drag this up and we're going to draw the ears. So let's go all the way up. So let's go right here. And let's see. So about right here, I'll stop. So in the center area right here, I'm just going to draw a curve right in the center. And in this area, I'm going to come and draw the ears. I'm going to go up. Round off the corner and bring it back down. So same thing over here. So go up, about the same height and bring it back down. There. So we have the basic shape in. Now let's come down here. Imagine this curve coming down. So I'm going to pop out about right there. Bring down a curve so we can draw the inside of our ear. Same thing over here. Okay, so then from there we can draw some stripes. So I'm going to come to the edge right here and I'll draw the main stripe first, so the center one. I'll just come right here, draw one. And one smaller one, and one over here. So I'll just go ahead and shade that in. So same thing over here. So kind of where this part angles towards the nose, right here. And another one right here. Okay, there. And then there's another pattern on the, um, on the mask. So I'm just going to give myself a point right in the center, say right here in between the eyes. 
and I'm going to use this point to draw an angle line down. So if you don't want to use a sharpie when you're doing this, definitely just um, color it in so it's not so harsh. I just want to show you how to draw this shape. Now let's angle it out again. Bring it in. So always remember your center. Angle it out again, and then we're just going to tuck it in to the top. There. Okay, finally done with the max. Now for everything else. So let's come to the bottom right here. And I'm just going to draw a neck. And just draw two little ties right here. And I'm going to go ahead and connect this and add a center zipper right in the center right here. Okay, so then now I'm gonna draw a curve that comes up from this and goes right into the mask. So this is gonna start to be the hoodie. And close to this hoodie right here, I'm going to come say about right here. I'll just give myself a point. And I'm going to angle a line down. And from here, I'm going to curve. And before I finish that curve, I forgot. Let's come back in here. So we have this one line. I'm going to finish my hoodie. So I'm going to come right here. And I'm just going to thicken the hoodie part. And go up. So I hope you saw that right there. And so same thing over here. So maybe this side's a little bit easier to see. So about right here, same thing. I'm going to go up with an angle. About right there. And I'm going to curve out. So from this collar I have, but before I finish that, I'm going to come in this area and draw the hoodie. That wraps up. And it's going to come up. And so about right here, I'll pop out another curve. And then I can go ahead and finish this curve. There. So then now let's come back right here and thicken this curve. And come down. So this is basically the collar that pops out. So same thing over here. Thicken the curve. Oops, come down. <laughs> it's getting too complicated. Okay, there. So then from there, finally, let's go ahead and just connect this part. And now we're going to pop this out a tiny bit. And we're going to start to draw the jacket. So from this area, I'm just going to come down on both sides. And let's pop our shoulder right here. Okay, so then from there, I'm going to imagine, say, the armpits will be about right here on both sides. And I'm going to angle lying down. So I'm going to continue this jacket down. And let's just finish off this hoodie part right here. And bring this down more. And so then from here, I'm going to start to bring this down, taper it out. And so then now for some details, so I know how far to bring this down. So I'm going to come back up um, about in this area. I'm just going to cut it off with a little top. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of space and come right here and draw a belt. So if you like, and it's not too complicated, you can actually draw a little strap that comes out. So just draw a curve first, right there, and then add the belt. 
and then let's finish off this part first. So I'm going to come down, so about right there, I'm going to flare it out. Okay, so then now from there, let's come out more. And now we can figure out the pants. So about right here in this area, I'm going to draw a slight angle line down. And I'm going to come two angle lines. So bring this out more. So imagine the hip. So about right here, I'm going to pop out the leg. So I'm slowly building the outfit. So come down more. And as I come right there, I'm going to flare it out a tiny bit on both sides. And then just bring it in and connect. And give it a little cuff. And do the same thing on this side. Flare it out, in. Little cuff. And then let's bring the legs, continue it down. So we're getting thinner. And so same thing here. And about right there, I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it with a curve and draw the tennis shoes. So flare it out a little bit and connect. And right here, you can draw a little curve, comes out and two curves, just to simplify it. So let's do the same thing over here. Okay, finally. So this belt part that I was talking about, we have this curve coming, imagine it coming through. So say about right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and angle it in. This kind of looks like the strap on her belt. And then now we can finally draw the shoulders and the arms. So come right here and let's bring this down. So about right there, I'm gonna connect it. So same thing over here. So about right there. And connect. Now for some details so it doesn't look so weird. Let's come right here and draw two curves. And let's draw a stripe here. And let's come down. So we're going to start to draw this. I'm going to work on this side first. Let's come in with a slight curve. So we're aiming for the hands to be around this area. So let's come down, bring in a curve, big gloves. So we're just tucking it, using this jacket to make it a little bit easier. We're just gonna tuck everything in there. So let's bring this jacket down more now that we know where to go. And I'm gonna bring this down, curve it towards her legs. And just come following that. So let's do the same thing over here. And in between, we're going to come up and down. Okay, so now let's work on this hand. So I'm going to come say about right here and connect. Then pop out the finger. So since everything's kind of connected, just indication of a thumb and fingers. A little curve there and some details. And so same thing right here at a curve. And let's finish off the sleeve with a curve right there. Okay, so now to do the same thing on this side. So once again, I'm going to come in 
one right here. Give myself a point for where that starts. So I'm just basically drawing the mirror of the other side. So about right here. And come out. So once again, indication of a thumb. There. Okay, so finally let's just draw some really quick details right here on the jacket. So I'm going to come to the edge right here and just follow, flare out. It's the same thing here. Sorry if I'm rushing this part, just don't want to take this video to take forever. And some more details right here. Just trying to pick the details that are necessary. There's a lot, right? And last but not least, I'm going to add a center line right here. And two lines there. So there, I hope you love how this catalyst skin from Fortnite turned out and inspires you to give it a try. I know it looks very complicated, but I hope I made it easy for you to follow along step by step. Thanks so much for watching. If you loved it, please give me a thumbs up, turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic videos. See you later.